There I was, at a bar again, at some dead-end town nobody remembers. All that matters here is the booze and self-loathing loneliness these streets seem to ooze out of them. I was like everyone else here, alone and bored, looking for a lucky break. There it was, sitting at the under end of the bar. Hottest piece of ass I've ever seen in a long time. A video game called Max Payne. Sexy beast that it was, I hesitated for a moment, but I built up the courage to say something. You like jazz? That took me a minute to write. Today we're playing Monologue Simulator and Self-Loathing Simulator. Max Payne on the PC. I downloaded the virus hotfix that the guide provided on Steam. And we're going to play this game. Uh... I know I need to stop playing games and then not finishing them. I get it, I get it, I get it. Look. Sometimes you burn yourself out on things and eventually, within like a year's time, I'll go back to it. Like, it makes complete sense that I haven't finished Bloodborne because one, I did nothing but like three months of playing only Dark Souls games from Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 and playing nothing else. So it makes complete sense that I, I managed to burn myself out from playing any Souls-like game. And I still have Elden Ring, I still have Bloodborne. I still have Sekiro. <laughs> Shadows die twice. And probably Ghost of Tsushima, which isn't even made by... That's made by Sucker Punch. <laughs> that came to PC. I'll have to give it a try. Um, sounds really fun. Sounds like a good game. I've heard good things about it, so I might give that a try, of course. But today, we're playing Max Payne. In case you don't know, this is a popular game. Created by Remedy who is the creator of Alan Wake and co. Ah, shit, hold on. Let me exit out of this. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, let me pop open the, uh, Toby experience. Tobuscus. All right. It's time. Another one. 
This song's pretty good because it, it's basically just a taxi driver theme. This one kind of has like a Batman feel to it. Pretty good. Uh, classic. I need to just play Eleanor again on my own time. Not on stream because I I didn't. I had the same problem that other people have had where I didn't like the outcome of getting things wrong because I'm not good at reading faces. <laughs> and so I started just using a walkthrough. And one of the walkthroughs, like, w part of the game involves you need to do, like, a mystery and stuff like that. It's a whole thing, and I just wanted Cole Phelps to be, like, the best possible detective, whatever you call him, in, in, in the, uh, like, I don't know. I wanted to make the best possible Cole Phelps that I could. So, losing was not something that I was interested in, or getting things wrong. Was not something that I was interested in, and being yelled at by the guy gave me secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> so, yeah, eventually I just grew bored because I wasn't actually like doing it myself at that point. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, and I also want to play, uh, mm, I want to play Mafia 1 and 2. I definitely want to play Mafia 1 and 2. Now, the question is, I don't know if I want to play Mafia 1, or, uh, like, the original Mafia 1. I do want to play the original Mafia 2, I think. I don't think I should play the remake. So I probably would want to play the originals. But, um, okay. Anyways. Stop yapping. We got a video game to play, and it's Max Payne. It's doing this intro. See his stupid smug face. Maybe. I think it's gonna be one of those games where I have to use a uh, display capture again. see if it okay good okay we're good okay I'm gonna turn the sound up for me so yes now it actually is showing the full capture now if it doesn't whenever we I'm gonna turn my sensitivity down a little bit because it is game level I've heard that New York minutes really difficult but Become available when you beat fugitive mode. Oh, these are harder difficulties, I, th I think. Whoa. Stand by 1010, investigative reported disturbance at Acer Plaza. 10 foot dispatcher, verify address. That's Acer Plaza, repeat, Acer Plaza. Whoa. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault Why is the subtitle? Oh, never mind. Repeat, an assault in progress. Assault in progress. I'm 
surprised there's no subtitles. I'll check again just to make sure. Shot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger, and then it was over. To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. I wonder if this is a loading screen. Because <laughs> it's cropped incorrectly. Hello? Okay. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct. Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. They're still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns, the sounds of children playing, a house across the river on the Jersey side, a beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. I'm sorry, I'm blocking the text. The sun but... went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. But they'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. Let me check and see if, uh, there's no subtitles. There's nothing. Well, I apologize. I apologize. Um... What the hell? Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe. A magic tag full of diabolical meanings. This game gave me nightmares as a uh, as a kid like because like this is one of the f listen someone's broken into my house call 911 is this the pain residence yes someone's broken into my house they're still here you Anime have to voice actor I'm afraid I cannot help you who is this hello That's fun. What does the newspaper say? Oh my god. My wife. Shell! Oh, please! I'm gonna hurt you! It's coming. Free! 
He's dead. NYPD, drop He's it. coming. You better stop. No. No, no, please, God, no. The flesh of fallen angels. No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. No. Exclamation point. Three years ago, everything ripped apart in a New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr, V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. What happened? I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My beret oh, wow. stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me, and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. Damn. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Oh, let me check the, uh... Years ago, killer junkies had been told Alex I would be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyrie Valkyrie Valker Valker case. Mom boss in the Chinello crime family was trafficking. I went undercover and infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. American Dream Chapter 1 Roscoe Street Station Came from the cold and outside uh, the dark city was a cruel monster. Slowly working my way from small time to the big fish. Trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex, B Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this uh, decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with uh, Jack Lupino. We need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face uh, -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. 
was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pick short, says the heavens were ready to fall. Like, uh, everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. Point blank shot in the face. Something was not right about this. My Beretta stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me. I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Station. And Alex. Okay. My god. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. My god. He's dead. The pills would hold the pain back for a while. <laughs> My god. This way that sucks. Somebody. Why is the water like. gross? Somebody really hated their reflection. Must have been, uh. Heisenberg. The water was refreshing. It gave me a feeling of ease. But soon I'd have to leave this. this room. For there was trouble muck. Wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this? He and Mickey are having too much fun taking care of the cop up there. Oh, well, what's the plan? Simple. Gun down every mother loving bastard that gets off the train. Sweet. But didn't the train go already? No idea. Let's just wait and see. What the hell? I have to get used to the controls. Oh fuck. Ah! Using desert eagles? Okay. How are they able to get these Yo funny guys. Yo guys? Hey, we're getting around. You hear me? What the hell? Ah! Let me in. Check your corners. Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. No, wrong way. <laughs> Fuck. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, 
looking for Alex, I had ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. Yeah, really? You think? I feel like the, uh, the game design of, like, going through, like, these, like, rat-covered shitholes of, like... Kiss it goodbye! <laughs> Good. You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. Okay, come on, let's go. Just stay at my back. This must be the control room. All right, get up here, man. Home free. This way. Yo. Look out. Damn it. We have 18 bullets in this, so we might as well use this. what I did. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. The power was back on. Thank God. I need the painkillers. I feel like there could be one of those like hour-long ambient noises sections just for this. Or for this room right like right here. Max pain one ambience montage. Wasting money. It's out. Got damn. Desert Eagle ammo. And this is why you explore. There's nothing in that one. Why am I doing this? There was, like, it was just a Beretta. It was a
so much for being subtle. So much for being subtle. So if I went a different way, I would have a different situation here. Oh. <laughs> so I just went a completely different way of completing that level. Is that what just happened? The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early 40s. Something big was going down at Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Creepy sound effects. Shotgun ammo. Lovely jubbly. Hey! Oh fuck. There's more of you? This game likes to fuck with you. I'm gonna start quick saving more. Yeah, look at this. This place is dark. My character is like super vulnerable if I don't kill them. Let's see where this goes. A dead end. Fuck. Frick. It's a dead end. Why is there so many dead ends? What the hell was that?
Sawed off shotgun. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest are gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Wham, bam, thank you. Oh shit. live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. score lay on the table. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Wow, thanks for the lore. had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Damn. What an interesting bank. What do I do? Do I need to leave? I probably need to use it to leave. pose Oh fuck hi Shit, man. It scared me.
hell was that? That must have been the explosion. Welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Mm. Okay, so that's where we need to go. Got it. So yeah, we were supposed to go back. Okay, fellas, the police are on their way. New York's finest—they're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. <laughs> ammo. What a, what a surprise. We come to you now. We come to you now. The bank robber score lay on the table. The bank robbers are... Bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Friend's dead. Give up. Fuck. <laughs> it would have been funny if there was a guy there who cartoon cartoonishly like Eisenberg. Hold it. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight through the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's 
locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lapino, it's... Alex? Alex! <gasps> Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. again. Alex. Alex. Hold it. Max. Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex. Glad to see you. What I can't skip going this. On? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. Fuck. Shit. I get it, I get it. Let's get out of here! You threw a grenade! Dead. Jesus. Here's the wanted men. Have you seen this missing per- Oh, these are missing people. Oops. I didn't know. Thank God. I need these pills more than you think. Speed running tactic. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Damn. He didn't know.
Pino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Paint at a max. You're killing me. Do you make that up yourselves, or you get some wino downstairs to come up with it? Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's where I'm, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he said bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. The Finito brothers are dead. They're dead, Nikki. A letter on the desk caught my eye. Next to some booze. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right-hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high-strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped Energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Horses! Everything all right? Horses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now! Horses! We're coming in! There he is! That was your worst mistake. Out of many mistakes. Today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Oh, great. I thought you were undercover DEA. The hell is this? Were you never undercover to begin with? Bruh. Oh, wow. Who knew? Is there nothing on TV?
Finito is finito. Getting out was not going to be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. Hmm. There must be something I'm missing. I have an idea. Let's try this window. Wow. Now that's a view. Calls for some du uh, some Berettas. Hey, yeah. Hi. Ah. Shotgun is full of ammo. Now it's not. I just wanted an excuse to piss, uh, piss, pick, pick it up. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. I'm trying Thank to watch this. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies brought to you in part to watch by the Acer show. Corporation. My lady. My lord. My, my lady, lord. there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My lord. It is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. <gasps> Ricky? It kind of looks like Ricky. Um, I like it how ironic it is that it says no smoking and you see this. V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Ow. 
Ow. Damn it. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Happened to him. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't say I was sorry I'd missed the show. Red ammo is full for once. found Muerte's room. This is in fact his room, I guess. Hold on. What the? Oh fuck. He was gonna shoot at me, I think. Let's go inside Muerto's room. Ow. Muerte had received a letter. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. like the Scooby-Doo music. What the hell? Told you. God damn. I thought it was a bomb for sure. Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> what the? Adam. Oh. 
The hooker had left her diary on the table. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Interesting lighting effects going on here. Okay. Go to hell! Tim, go get him. No, wait, you go get him. You go and get him. What happens if I just shot that? Blood veins of New York. My God. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. I can't believe this, uh... I can't believe this place costs like $300 a night. Winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Well, Exhibit number one, a newspaper. Wait, hold on. I need to use the restroom real quick, hold on.
Ah. Okay. Oh. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. That was fun. Skateboard boy. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers at green eyed angels. Amen. <laughs> Time ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Yeah, it was dirty money. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. Damn, painkillers. these painkillers like candy. I'm addicted. The door was locked. I'd need a key to get through. I wonder if you could play Max Payne. I'm sure you could play Max Payne without using a single painkiller, so then technically if you think about it. You won't get addicted to painkillers because you didn't uh, encourage his behavior. Is there another door I missed? There was a key on the table. That is a funny looking key. Bar key. Is it restaurant? No. Bar. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room and I'm thinking now they're gonna do it. <clears throat> but no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? <clears throat> Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Gentlemen, 
A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. It was dirty money. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. I know I missed some. I, I missed some stuff, so we have to go back through. There we go. Painkillers. There was a key on the table. The table. what it is. Once I get more Uzi ammo, that gun's that gun's gonna be like my go-to because holy fuck. The antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, Cornelius, this makes pain. It came, started capitalist. He killed. Uh... Are you freaking kidding me? It's just one lousy cop. You better be freaking kidding me. Whack him. What's the freaking problem? Hello? Answer me. Hello? The word was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Damn. He became a threat really quickly. This is a very strange club.
All right, seven, 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 seven. Seven red, sorry, seven red, seven red. What was it on, what was it on? I don't see the ball. Ah. Blackjack. You can do double dual. You can do dual. Okay, that's pretty sick. It's the exit. I don't know if we want to leave just yet. I guess we do. Okay. Alright. Well, welcome to New York. What do you just want from me, game, huh? Oh, exit. That's right. I made it out. Chapter 5, Let the Gun Do the Talking. Part 1, The American Dream. Turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were gonna get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. Wow. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Oh, shit. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. Headlines were a depressing read. Wait, hold on. Do that again. Okay. 
The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. The van, the van. I knew it. I knew it. The tutorial taught me well. Something strange is going on here. The whole building was rigged with explosives. I'd become a rat in a cage. again but this time I'm gonna be like badass or something okay let's go what the <laughs> shit damn it was rigged with explosives. tried. If only you didn't shoot at the wall before I... phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooten. 
You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. Okay. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressant choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. It's been Cara. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far and sooner or later he'd start pushing back. There was a key on the shelf. Busy. Thanks for the painkillers. Oh shit! Yo! Spooky. Okay. Oh no. Imagine they make you do platforming for that. Got him dead.
More Ingram am ammo, please. Please. Where am I supposed to go? Not back. I needed to do. Wow, we wow, we wow, we wow. Fear that gives Ben wings. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. Here, I'll help you guys out. You guys okay? Oh, you guys were freezing your butts off. You could have just gone in here. It's nice and toasty in here. To get to the roof, I'd need to get to the elevator through the locked door up ahead. Damn. Pizza delivery. Never seen you before. I go off, Joker. Pizza delivery, he says. Scared me. What the? Shoot! I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry. Yeah. I know him. Yeah. Get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Having this guy as my, co as my temporary companion gives me rat immunity plus three. Currently, I have a negative 40. Rat immunity. God. Stay back. <gasps> Stop it. Go away. No problem, man. Uh, no, trouble. No, trouble. no trouble. No trouble. No trouble. I'll get you in. It's me. Open up. Let me in quick. Not so fast. The password. John Wu. Come on. Okay, John Wu. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's pain! Ah! 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 Why'd you say that? Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Ah, they don't got anything on. Ah! Nice dodge roll. You dingus. It's 
a secret COD zombie Easter egg. If you, if you click on every single one. Yo, Mr. White. <laughs> There's no sink in there. New York City is in crisis tonight with reports of Valkyrie-related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one-man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious Mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito, as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Rivera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Damn. I'm free. Unlike the animals that live down below on the dirt, dirt riddled streets. What the? Go there. The last house I'd want to end up. But that's where I always end up anyway. Only. It's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, Mirrors are more fun than television. That's, mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double. Nods and smirks at this, like it was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> and then something goes wrong. And suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. I have no idea what that means. And that's when I always wake up to my own screen in that brightly lit white hospital room strapped to my bed. It's always... Have you tried shooting it? Oh. I missed the funny moment. Here, hold on. Here, I'll go back. He can... So we can watch the funny moment again. Sorry, I, I missed it. It's always...
bomb. Oh fuck. Vinny Gogniti, just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peaks like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god, you shot me! Ah! <laughs> you're dead, Pain! And what the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss. Gagnini bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. He's running away. A crumpled letter lay on Gagnini's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. <laughs> Vinny Gagnetti was running scared. He could run, but with a bullet in the stomach like a broken bottle of Tabasco, he was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack Lupino. Gogniti would be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear that gives men wings. But it's fear that gives man, man wings. God, what a sentence. And he said unto thee, the Argus. What a jump! <laughs> Damn! Gagnetti hitched a ride. To catch him, I'd have to follow his lead. Lead. Let me see if I'm supposed to make the same jump. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. 
New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move. How'd you get all the way over there? Get after him. Can't let that crook get away. It's pain. All right. Shit. What is he using that's killing me so quickly? What Why is this guy killing me so easily? Your pepperoncini. I'm not finished what with you.
Wow, baseball guy. We're gonna be rich. Freaking rich. Freaking rich. gonna be rich rich I tell yous Stop here for now. I'm gonna stop here for now. I am doing something with a friend. So, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go do that. So, yeah. Uh,. I guess I'll be back at some point. Maybe maybe tomorrow if I feel like it. Peace.